Hi, it's Maya here and welcome back to my guide to Finnish science fiction and fantasy. Today we're going to be taking another look at Hannu Rajaniemi with his collected fiction. If you want tips on how to pronounce Hannu Rajaniemi or how to say some of the Finnish terms and Finnish names that he uses in the Jean Le Flambeur or Quantum Thief trilogy, check out the first video that I've done on Rajaniemi. I'll leave a link to it down below in the description. So in this video I'm going to go through this book, short story by short story, and pronounce all the Finnish names and Finnish words that I used in them. I've gone through this book after I finished reading it and tried to pick out all the Finnish terms that I came across. It might be that I managed to miss some, if so I apologize, but let's go through my list now. The first short story is Deus ex homine, and in that the main character is Jukka. There's an emphasis on the K because it's a double K, and this is a very common name in Finnish. Of course you need to remember that the Finnish J is more like the English Y, so it is Jukka. The next story is Taiki and the Ants, which doesn't have any Finnish names in it. Except that there's a mention of a magician who sounds amazingly like the magician from the Moomin book, Finn Family Moomin Troll. He's looking for a ruby, he has a scraggly beard and white gloves and a panther, and that's exactly like the magician in the Moomin books. So make of that what you will. Then there are a couple of short stories with no Finnish terms, until we get to Elegy for a Young Elk, which has a lot of them. The main character is called by his surname, which is a Finnish surname, and it is Kosonen. He has a bear called Otso, and Otso is a very old sort of nickname for bear. Then there are other characters, one of them is Maria, another one is Esa, then also Pera, which is a nickname for someone who could be called Penti or something, and Sade, which also means Ray. There's also uh, one term mentioned, which is Kantohanki, which means uh, snow that can carry, so snow with a f- frozen surface that's easy to, for example, ski on top of. In the Yugard or Jugard Cathedral, there is one character called Raya, so that's pretty much like my name, but with R instead of an M. Then we get to another story that has a ton of Finnish names, and that is the Fisher of Men. There's a place called Ahtolan Niemi, which is sort of Cape Ahtola. The main character has a Finnish name, he is called Jaakko Rissanen. There's also a man called Kalle, a woman called Minna. Also a man called Rane is mentioned, and this is another Finnish nickname. Then there are a lot of mentions of Finnish mythology, and one of them is Ahti. This is a Finnish sea god. Then there's Tuoni, the god of death, and this one might be difficult. Äijö, there's an emphasis on the J. Äijö, and this is a big, big Finnish god. There's Ikuturso, son of Äijö, who is a sort of a sea monster or a water spirit or something like that. And a mention of some boys made, which is an apparatus from Kalevala. Something called a Marta or a stone of death is also mentioned, but this is where my knowledge of mythology fails me, because I have absolutely no idea where that's from. So let's move on, and the next story that has a ton of Finnish terms is the Viper Blanket. The main character's brother is Markku. There's also one mention of a granny Ruskanen, which is a Finnish surname. There's a Rapa Swamp, a mention of the town Seinäjoki. There's also a mention of Reijo Taipale on the radio, which is a well-known older Finnish singer. There's one mention of a person called Niilo Liikanen. Also, the surname of the family that features on this story is Hurme, which is an old word for blood in Finnish. There are mentions again of Tuoni, Tuonetar and Tuonela. Tuoni, like I said, is the god of death, Tuonetar is the goddess of death, and Tuonela is a place akin to hell. There's a mention of a legend of a warrior called Hurmerinda, bloodbreast, and Hurmerinda actually does mean bloodbreast. Then there's also a woman called Marketta. Marketta is said to be a Kurti girl, which is an old Finnish religious movement. Next we have Paris in Love, which has a couple of characters. The main character is Antti, a man he meets is Sakari, and there's also a couple of place names. One of them is Rovaniemi, Oulainen, and then there's the bigger region name of Pohjanma. Now we move on to Topside, and that story has a main character whose name is Kuovi. And this actually is a Finnish word for something, but I think the story works better if you read it and after that you google what Kuovi is. Kuovi's mother has a sort of a pet thing called Mörke, and this is a bogeyman, monster or a ghost, you know, the type that goes under kids' beds. Also, the grog from the movie is called Mörke. There's also a mention of the city of Kokkola. 
Another story with only a couple of Finnish words in it is Shibuya no Love, and that has the main character Riina, and there's mention of the city of Helsinki. And now we move on to the oldest game, which is chock full of Finnish words, so this might take a while. The main character is mentioned by his surname, which is Oranen. There's again the mention of the city of Helsinki, and then there are a pair of Nokia rubber boots. So Nokia is not just a mobile phone brand, it's also a ba- brand for rubber boots in Finland. Then there's a salesman at the store called Geijo. There's Oranen's old friend, Penger Koski. He's trying to buy Karjala from the store, which is a beer brand and also a place. There's also Kossu, which is short for Kosken Korva, which is the brand of Finnish vodka. And it's also a place name. There's a couple of mentions of Hahkala and Turtola. The main character's son is called Tuomas, and his girlfriend or wife is again Marketta. His old best friend is Antti. There's again a mention of Tuoni. There's also another mythology mention, Antero Vipunen, who's a giant who appears in the Kalevala. There's Pekko, a giant who also calls himself Pellon Pekko, the Pekko of the field. Pekko or Pellon Pekko is a Finnish god or spirit of crops, especially barley and brewing. So you can see that it fits the story. Pekko also calls itself Hittavainen, which is sort of Finnish forest spirit. Okay, let's move on to the final story with Finnish words in it that I found. That is Snow White is dead. Snow White herself in this form of the story is called Lumi, which is a Finnish word for snow. There are a couple of men called Simo, Yuri, Ismo and Mikko. And there's also a mention of Hattivatti, which is a character from Moomin. I think it's called Hattie Fattener in English. There's also a mention of a couple of kids' characters, Bamse and Kilpinen the turtle. Bamse is a Swedish cartoon for kids and Kilpinen is a Finnish name for one of the characters. So that was my look into Hannu Rajaniemi's collected fiction. This was published in 2015 by Tachyon Publishing, but it was published as a limited edition. So if you want to read this, your best bet might be the library. I hope this was in any way useful to you, and I'll see you later in another episode.